And welcome everyone, Dern D back with you once again for another edition of Let's Flights and Myers Civ 4 Colonization and we're now playing with TAC, the Authentic Colonization Modification for Sid Myers colon Civilization 4 colon Colonization. <laughs> I'm glad to have you along for this. Uh, so this came uh, as a, a suggestion from uh, one of my viewers. So um, I wasn't doing that great with the base game all the same, but uh, this mod, I was reading up on it, and it seems to add like a lot uh, to the gameplay. It seems to be a lot more buildings, a lot more choice, a lot more events, so it just uh, makes the game and improves on it a lot, I believe. And uh, from what I understand, too, it adds some things that were in the original kind of PC uh, game that I was talking about uh, earlier in the video, so like the old one that was based on the old Civ engine. And it adds it back into the game. It adds another uh, country, and that is the uh, Portuguese. So uh, we're excited to see them as well. And uh, it adds a uh, new world that kind of gets generated based on plate te tectonics and all that fun stuff. So, uh, yeah, this, this is going to be interesting for sure. So um, I have gone into this just kind of making sure it works. I played through like 20 or 30 turns a couple times just to make sure everything was going okay, and that uh, I wanted to be sure I wasn't completely, completely oblivious when it came to playing with this mod. So uh, a lot of it's going to be unfamiliar to me. Some of it will be familiar, but it's only the really, really early game stuff. So let's give it a shot here now. It's like a single-player game. We're going to play now. And, uh, yeah, so you, now you have the uh, Portuguese added to the mix of uh, potential uh, countries that you can use. Uh, natives are more tolerant towards... Territory encroachment and 30% gold for the first European contact. Uh, market prices are less sensitive, and you need less experience for unit promotions. You also have this guy. Uh, I'm not going to try to pronounce any Portuguese names. I'm not familiar with the language at all. All I know is like fuego means fire, and don't tell me how I know that. Uh, so they have conquistadors, 20% versus natives. 200% uh, native conversion rate for missions are kind of like a super French and 100% time between tax increases. So that's kind of a, uh, a balance between the French and the Dutch from what I understand. They have added like different attributes to your standard leaders as well. Uh, so you can see some of those coming up here. The French now. Uh, so they're now uh, better for immigration. Uh, market prices are less sensitive. You also have that 200% native conversion rate. And, uh, yeah, that adds uh, kind of the thing that came from the Dutch. 100% time between tax increases. So, cool. Cool. Uh, so that is Frontenac. Um, less production needed to build stuff. Uh, let's try Champlain, and, and let's try to be friendly with the natives again. So we'll try that. Now, they have this thing called Fairweather, and it's a random map that simulates Earth-like plate tectonics. Geostropic, is that right? And monsoon winds and rainfall. So, sounds very complicated. We're going to be playing on the normal speed. We're going to be playing on Pilgrim again. And we're, that should be fine for us. Uh, distance to Europe. I guess the default distance is okay. Uh, northern border, sure. Southern border, that's fine. And land allocation, so you can have like a lot of islands. You can have a random. You can have a few islands by default. I guess that's more similar to how the uh, North America is. So, uh, yeah, let's change our name now to uh, Dern D, like we usually do. And let's start with our uh, mod, our first mod playthrough. I'm excited by this. It's also reading online that was, there's a, kind of a space exploration mod is too. That, that's that's kind of cool. Kind of get more informed on what's on, uh, what's on the go with the modding community with this. I don't think it's very active right now since this game came, in, came out in 2008, and we've had a... Well, we've had one Civ come out since then, that's Civ 5, and Civ 6, well, that's going to be released uh, fairly soon, from what I understand. So, uh, yeah, people have kind of left this behind. So, uh, you now have these little kind of pop-ups when stuff happens. You have a dream. You are dreaming. Dreaming to discover a new continent, a new world far away. The next morning, you know what you have to do. And you're like, wow, you just kind of go and you get a, a charter from the king to... Uh, Head off to the new world. And uh, sorry if I didn't leave that menu up long enough. Uh, that is the standard. Um, you have 
the standard, uh, you've been commissioned by the king to discover the new world. Uh, so let's move this guy down here. And, uh, okay, it looks like you start off with some scouts and a missionary. That is interesting. We're going to get this guy to sail back to Europe for now. And he's going to be picking up some immigrants. The one thing you notice first off is that once we get back to Europe, oh, you're going to notice that immigrants are a hell of a lot cheaper than usual. This is a good spot to build, apparently. Uh, we have iron. I like to come down here for the shells. I'm assuming that's food, Coast 1? Maybe not. Maybe not. Jungle Savannah. Let's move down here because they will provide us with some fruit production. All right. Uh, okay, this is a new thing, a trade win, so sail as fast as you can. So it's going to take him one last turn to get back to Europe. Okay, so let's, uh, let's get these guys to move down here. I like the idea of coming down here. we got some sort of... Mayan settlement as well, so we'll have to keep an eye out for that. So yeah, uh, you start off with a nice bit of gold, and uh, you can see that, uh, well, people are fairly cheap now. Uh, it still costs about the same to purchase experts from Europe, so we got to keep that in mind. Uh, probably going to want an expert, expert uh, fisherman because we are settling on the coast. And uh, let's see what else we can grab here. Can we actually grab a second boat? No, that's a little bit too expensive for us. So, what will we look for here? Uh, what do we got here on the docks? We have a preacher. That'd be good for immigration. We have a criminal. And we have another scout. I think we might grab the scout and just uh, explore around where we settled. So, uh, yeah, you have this thing now. Uh, come up, As you settle places, the names will come up here. So when you leave York to sail back, you can actually select the destination where you want that ship to sail to. That so that is a uh, nice little feature I find. Um, you know, apparently California isn't attached to the coast. Maybe that's supposed to be Vancouver Island. I don't know. All right, so we're going to sail to the New World, and we're going to exit, and we're going to finish our turn, and we're meeting up with the Spanish already. Treaty of Peace. There's peace in their time. I'm fine with that. And uh, that is the Spanish ship there. Okay, uh, yeah, I think this will be a nice little spot to settle. We've met another European nation. These little pop-ups are nice. Uh, keep in mind, if you do install this mod yourself, uh, you have to install a patch. You have to look at the patch on the uh, Fraxis website. You know, the, uh, This isn't attached to Steam, so you have to manually do that yourself. I think it's like patch 1.01F. You have to install that first to get this mod to work. So uh, let's uh, build our settlement here. And uh, whoa, hello to you, the Mayans. Uh, since you're a small band of nomads, welcome to partake in the land around you. Thank you, neighbor. And whoa, I didn't realize I was so close uh, to the uh, Mayans there. Probably the little Mayan things around here should have tipped me off. They didn't, though. Uh, so we're going to be working on a village hall. So one thing that you're going to notice that's different uh, usually when you start a settlement, you have like, whoa, like a bunch of buildings around that you can put people in. Not with this mod. With this mod, you have to individually build each building. So if I'm intending to uh, make coats out of fur, like in the before I install the mod, like the building to make coats out of fur, it, it just would have been there. And I, all I would have had to do is assign a guy to make the coats. But now uh, things slow down, slows down a little bit, so we actually have to build that uh, coat manufacturing building. I forget what the name of it is offhand. So we have our uh, pioneer here who is also a Jesuit missionary. Um, I'm going to get him to... Can he improve? Yes. We're going to get him to improve around. And a uh, nice little pop-up here. Your first colony. Finding a suitable stretch of land with both timber and a quiet fishing bay. Your colonists start the task of establishing new homes in the new world. And we've met a native tribe. And this is a new thing here. Governor, your men stand before you. Deploy. Deeply moved. They listen to your words. This is the first colony of your nation in the New World. And your citizens, thank you for giving me a chance to participate. Your men ask, uh, wish to take an oath to remind them of their virtue. Which oath do you wish to swear? So each of these oaths has a little bonus. So it can be a shelter for the devout, a 
which will improve your immigration. You have a Liberty, which will improve your Liberty Bell production. And you have uh, this one, even if our stomachs rumble, which improves your food production. I think we're going to do that for our first colony here. So let's uh, get our ship to sail back to Quebec here. And we'll end our turn. And go in here now. So we have our fisherman. Uh, he can work on the uh, clams out there. And we have our scout. We're going to send the scout in around to uh, do some scouting. See what, uh, see what the lay of the land is. Now we are producing coats and tobacco, so we're going to export those for now. So we need coats, not coats, but fur and tobacco. We're going to sell as many of those as possible. And uh, yeah, we're going to end our turn here. We have some nice tobacco production here, actually. Uh, you're going to go on automation. And we're going to send our scout down here. He's probably going to pick up a nice little treasure for us to sail back to the New World and give us a little bit of a boost. Actually, he didn't. He found a map. So, several scholars in Europe state the Earth is a globe. of Adventurers and explorers from all nations set sail to find the western route to Asia. So, we have to be the first to find the western route. So, this is new to this mod. I haven't seen this before. So, uh, yeah, I guess we're going to have to see if we can find the route to Asia. So, let's send our scout over here and see what the uh, see what the lay of the land is. So, we have a firebrand preacher waiting for us in Europe. That's good. Um... 359. So let's sell what we have. That increases your treasury to 400. Grab our preacher. And we pretty much just have criminals here. And uh, we don't have enough to buy an expert. I do find some of the things starting off are more expensive in the mod. Uh, tools are 5 and 7 now. Guns are now 15 and 17. And horses are fairly expensive, expensive as well. So I'd need at least 600 for that. So let's grab this indentured servant. And we will sail back to the New World. And you can see here now that this little pop-up has come up. So I can get that ship to sail directly to the settlement of Quebec. Which is a nice feature. I enjoy that. Okay, so let's end our turn. And now uh, we have our first trade agreement. And uh, actually, we should go and talk with these folks. See what they can train our colonists as. Because we do have a... Uh, Kind of like a base guy here with no skills. Speak with the chief. Uh, they need guns, and they are expert tobacco planters. Let's have a look at our uh, community here. Uh, we don't really need that because we do have tobacco coming in already. You know, there's no tobacco fields around, so that uh, that doesn't really help us right now. Um, okay. So let's get you to go down and actually talk to these guys. I should have had you talk to them when you were down there. And we do have a new treasure, so we'll get that and uh, head back to Europe with it. I'm not sure my, why my voice went really high there. Europe with it. Okay, so we have a nice bit of food. We got some furs. We got some tobacco. Uh, we're going to want to start to build up this town. So let's get this guy as a lumberjack. And we're going to get the preacher to work in the carpenter's shop. So that will speed up our building production a bit. Okay, so you are going to go back to Europe with some nice goodies to sell. We'll end our turn. And now we have... Uh, okay, so 600 gold. That's, uh, that's pretty good, actually. Okay. So we now have the village hall. Uh, we do have uh, quite a few ocean tiles here. So I do want to build uh, this thing called a landing stage, and that adds plus one to each water tile. So we're going to build that next. Uh, let's sell all the things. We have a petty criminal now. And what else do we have? We have a free colonist and a preacher. Um, I think I will actually buy one more fisherman. And we're going to sail back to Come Quebec. In. Because once this landing stage gets done, uh, that's going to provide us some more food from those water tiles. Let's talk to the chief here. Uh, okay, expert farmers. That might be useful for us. Okay, so let's head back and start exploring again. We do have a little ancient spot here, so that might uh, furnish us with another treasure. Uh, he wants some gold. That's fine. Not too much starting off here. We do have, like... Uh, missionary coming here 
Okay, so let's go into Quebec. Uh, okay, we're going to put you on construction. We may not be able to do anything with this guy yet. No. Okay, so we will get you to... Okay, he's producing ore. Going to produce fur as well, I guess. Just for now. I will get him fishing very shortly. As soon as this stage is done. Okay, so we now have a landing stage. Uh, we can build a town hall. That's going to give us uh, plus two food production. Uh, we can build a warehouse. Hard to say what to do this early in the game. Let's go with a dock, actually. And with that, we can now produce food from the ocean. And we're going to be looking for, like, fur experts right now. Okay. So I think we're doing all right, establishing our first colony. And sell all the things. We have another preacher coming. A lumberjack, a petty criminal, and a free colonist. I'll take the lumberjack. And we will sail back to Quebec. And uh, pretty soon now we're going to have a look at uh, maybe establishing a second colony. Now this is inland, but has access to uh, Freshwater Lake, which apparently provides a nice bit of food. I'm tempted to just settle at Sugar as well. Savannah, Savannah. Yeah, I think we're actually going to settle here. Okay, so let's build this. Uh, inland lie the riches. This is Montreal. Let's have a look at what's on the go here now. Uh, so we're producing food, we're producing tobacco, and we're producing sugar. So we'll be able to make rum a little bit later once we get the uh, distillery up and on the go. So what are we going to want to export? We're going to want to export our tobacco and our sugar. So where is the sugar and where is the tobacco? Okay, so they're going to... So I, I have gotten this in this game where I know what's going to happen next. The king is going to offer us some goods and we can use those goods to build our first wagon train. We'll build that and we'll have trade going between Montreal and Quebec. Uh, so we can't build it there, but we can build the village hall. All right. Two settlements. So we now have our dock and we're producing a nice bit of food. We're producing a nice bit of lumber and producing ore and tobacco. We're going to grab, uh, we're going to start a blacksmith shop here now because uh, I want to get the tool production underway. So that's one of the things that can kind of bottleneck you when you're trying to build up. Let's start the uh, blacksmith's house. Okay, so this is what I was talking about. Your king has been benevolently recognized the foundation of your second colony uh, and offers his support. We would like to respectfully thank his majesty and we appreciate his support. Uh, so we are in dear need of resources to build our colony. So they're going to give us enough materials now to build our... So they want us to build four settlements as well. I kind of got that out of the way a little bit too fast. So we will be looking at building a trade wagon after the uh, blacksmith says it's done here. All right, so let's have a look in here now. So we have a lumberjack and we have a preacher. Well, we got plenty of food. S stick the... Okay, we do want to export fur, so let's put you there. It's a fur trapper. And let's grab our lumberjack and get him to walk over to our new colony. It's going to help speed things up a bit, I think. At least that's my intention. Uh, okay, you're going to go back to trading. We'll end our turn. An unfed colonist has fled. Where? As far as I know, all my guys are fed. Uh, free colonists. Uh, we will want another fisherman for our new colony. Because apparently you can fish the uh, fresh water lake, so that will be good for us. All right. So, actually, we need one more turn before we can put this guy to work. So we are producing food, which is good. Uh, so the most amount of lumber we can produce is right here. 
So we are now a lumberjack. And we will want like just a generic colonist to uh, start working on the uh, carpenter shop as well. Okay, so can we land you anywhere that's closer to here? Down here. It's going to take four turns. Okay. We have a free colonist waiting, which will be good for uh, Montreal here. All right, so we will be building our wagon train now. Because that's how we're going to get uh, goods from Montreal to Quebec. Okay, you're going to join up with Montreal here. Oui. Uh, you're going to go back to automation, and we'll end our turn. We've built our first blacksmith. Okay, so we can now produce tools in Quebec. Uh, let's grab our preacher. We'll get him to do that. Uh, we are kind of running low on lumber as well. So if we do get the lumberjack, we may send him here. Really, the preacher is good at producing furs. Interesting. Okay, so end our turn. And we're going to be making some fish. And plus seven, so that's going to help with the colony growth here. Perfect. Perfect. Everything's going swimmingly. Does anyone say that anymore? Going swimmingly? Okay, so we do have a new columnist here. And we are running short on lumber, so we will get him to produce lumber from down here, I guess. Okay. All that's fine. Producing tools. Producing ore. Excellent. Our wagon train should be done very soon as well. Okay, we'll sell all our things. 446, free colonists, criminal, criminal. I think the free colonists is the best that we're going to do right here, so sail back to Quebec. Obviously, we can't sail to Montreal because it's inland. And uh, Quebec's not producing any culture. Okay, so they want us to build a town hall. I'm the one in charge here. Listen to me. I'm the man with the plan. Okay, so there's our ship. Okay, so what are we going to do here now? We're producing the lumber. I'm going to get you onto that. I'm going to get you onto this. We're going to exit. You are going to go sailing back to the old world, aka Europe. K-A-E Dizzle. So they want us to build a town hall, so we will do that. Um, okay. Let's have a look at the settlement here. Uh, so yeah, we're going to want to make rum or cigars here. Uh, probably rum. So we have a rum distiller's house. Uh, this guy has offered to join your calls. One scout... Ah, uh, no, I don't think we need him. All right, so I finally discovered how these wagons work. At least I think I do. So uh, we're going to go into assign transport routes. Okay, so he wants to take tools. He's going to export it from Quebec, and he's going to bring them to Montreal. And we're going to add that. And we're going to add that to our route. And what are we producing here in... We're producing tobacco, right? It's kind of a our extra thing. What are you doing? Producing like mushrooms or something. Coca. I don't want you doing that. I want you making sugar. I don't know why he started doing that. So, uh, yeah, tobacco, right? Yes. All right, so we're going to grab this guy again. And uh, where's his root? We're going to add a root. We're going to grab the excess tobacco from here. We're going to export it from Quebec. We're going to take it to Montreal. Oops, we didn't actually do that. So where is that? Tobacco export from Montreal. Take to Quebec. Add. And one more thing. Uh, we're going to be producing rum soon. So we're going to grab rum. We're going to take it from Montreal. Uh, yeah, that's right, to Quebec. And we're going to add that. Obviously, we won't do any of that yet because we don't actually have the distiller's house set up, but I just want to get that out of the way. Sell that. We have a scout here. 
We have some criminals. I would like another scout for exploration. And uh, yeah, we got an expert fisherman here, which is good for us. We'll head back to Quebec. And we'll exit out of this menu. And we got a little uh, little trade network going. Two seasoned scouts. Use them to unravel the mysteries of the world. Which I probably should because I know nothing about this continent. What's this guy? He's a farmer. Alright, so what do we got here? Okay, we have a fisherman. So yeah, I want to walk him over to Montreal. And uh, you I'm going to do for exploration. So we won't do anything with this town right now. I want to make sure that we are exporting tobacco. Yes. And we're going to want to export rum as well once that gets set up. So import rum. And we're going to export rum to the new world. Put you on automation. You're going to explore up here. Looks like there's a uh, Spanish settlement there, and we're going to get you to walk to Montreal. Okay, so this is our first uh, tax raising, so that's not too bad, I guess. Okay, sell all the things again. We have a missionary. I think I'm going to grab this guy. We have a veteran soldier. I'll actually grab both of them. Now, one thing that seems to be different, don't quote me on this right now, but you see the uh, REF is a lot bigger than what we usually see. But the thing is, I think the, uh, the king doesn't start, like usually they start off with lower numbers and they raise up. I think this is kind of like your target now. I could be wrong about that, but this is basically your target that you have to build up to without... Uh, worrying about the king being reactionary and, and building up this insanely sized force that you have no way to battle. Okay. We have our fisherman here. But we will get him to fish. It's going to help with population growth. And exporting sugar. Yep, yeah, this is fine for now. We do want to save some sugar though. Because we will start to make rum very soon. And, uh, yeah, I think that's fine for now. Okay, and there's a couple of Spanish settlements there, so we'll keep an eye on them. Okay, uh, let's move these guys down here. I should actually set him up just to sail to Quebec. Okay, so we have our soldier, or our musketman. And we have our missionary. We're going to send the missionary uh, into one of the native settlements right now to try and uh, build up our population a bit. Okay, so here are our soldiers. I'm going to get you to go inland, actually, because I think it's more dangerous there. Click. There we go. And we're going to send our missionary over here. And we're going to establish a mission. <clears throat> and we're going to continue exploring here. 600 gold now. I don't think we need any real experts right now. Actually, Carpenter wouldn't go astray. I don't think I can afford one right now. They're 800. So, okay, we'll save our gold. And next trip around, we'll grab a Master Carpenter or, or two, maybe. Um, I'm not sure what I did there, because he popped up out of nowhere, just as I was hitting enter, uh, so, uh, okay. We'll go talk to these guys. And, okay, we'll pay the gold. Talk to the chief. Expert cotton planter. Doesn't really interest me again. This lake does, though. We should go over and talk with these folk as well. Okay. So we're going to fortify here. And we do have a treasure, so we will get that back to Quebec. 
It's going to take a few turns to make it. Okay, so we have a new body. I'm going to put him on uh, working in the blacksmith shop. Or the uh, carpenter shop, actually. And we do have a uh, convert already, which I'm kind of surprised on how quick that went. So we'll get him to go over here as well. Okay, let's talk to the chief. Uh, they need horses and expert farmers. Don't really have a lot of farm land around. We do have some ancient artifacts, so we'll get them to walk to Quebec as well. That would be a nice little a gold boost. Uh, no, I don't think we need her. Colin is petty criminal. Okay, so I said I needed what? A carpenter. Okay, and we're going to go to Quebec with you. And, okay, there's our skip. Where else can we go? Let's see what's down here. We're losing all sorts of stuff due to storage capacity. I'm not too worried about that right now. All right, so we now have the rum distiller's house. Uh, so we're going to build a warehouse that will take care of some of our storage problem. Let's uh, have open borders with the Spanish. This is our carpenter, right? No, expert or miner. Did I buy the wrong guy? Maybe I did. Okay, uh, you are going to go where? To Montreal, I guess. Man, they're popping out uh, population pretty quick. Okay, so we want you on carpentry as well. And we're going to want to start producing rum very soon. First distillery. So we'll get this guy to work in the distillery, I think. All right, so what do we have here now? Here is our carpenter, so he's going to speed things up there. Uh, we're now losing more wood than we can produce, so we can take this guy off. And let's produce fish or ore. Let's go for ore. And let's export ore, but we're going to leave like 50. Okay, uh, we're going to get you to trade, and uh, let's build a warehouse here now, so we're not, Town Hall in Quebec is waiting tools, I know, thank you, the wagon train should take care of that tool shortage. There we go, okay, so, so we're going to get this guy to work in the distillery, so we'll do that, and... Exporting to tobacco and rum. Yeah, I think we're good there. Um, now, sugar. We're importing tobacco and rum. Okay, so let's grab this guy again. Uh, transport. We're going to add sugar to this. From... Montreal to Quebec. Add. I'll probably need a second wagon here soon. Get me back on automate. And uh, we will sell this. So extra 400 gold, which I'm fine with. And okay, we can now build a town hall here, so we shall do so. And we will want another carpenter for our other settlements. And let's grab a free colonist. It's not really free, though, if I have to pay for him, right? We will start looking at establishing a third colony very soon, I believe. There's lots of orange stuff down here. So this looks like a good spot, so we may fish over there. Marsh, hills, 
What does he think about, like, up here? Okay, so we do have another, uh, another convert. So, we're going to get him to come down here and maybe help with establishing a new colony. Okay, so let's have a look at here now. So we're producing tools. Uh, we can start to think about producing guns here as well. So uh, we will build the armory. And uh, Alexander Hamilton, plus one production. Yep, we'll take that. It's a nice all-around thing. Hmm. Go back here. Does he think this is a good spot? I think it's a good spot. Okay, so let's unload you, unload you. Our free colonist, uh, I guess we'll put you on food production for now. We're going to get the carpenter to walk over to Montreal. You're going to go back on automate. We want to make sure that we're going to be exporting sugar. Sugar, do 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 do. Oh, honey, honey. Okay, so you are going to go to the new world, and we're going to get 400 gold for that. Yeah, this is a good spot, apparently. So. And corn. Yeah, I like this. We do have some hills. Yep. I think I'm going to go right here, actually. And uh, we're going to want to build a wagon very soon. So uh, let's build the town hall for first. And uh, think about producing a wagon when we can. Okay, uh, we probably need another ship. Because I don't think this guy is keeping up with it. How much is the merchantman? 2,000. I'd like to wait for that because they do have three... Three things for uh, for hauling gear, so we're just going to sail back for now, and we'll wait for that merchantman to uh, be affordable. All right, so we have an extra uh, extra columnist here. He's our master carpenter. So we're going to want to take uh, this guy off. What is he going to do? Uh, we could get uh, some cocoa production on the go. That's an option. We have excess wood. Can get him producing rum. Actually, he's going to help with the rum. And, uh, okay, that kind of stagnates our sugar production, but that's okay. And, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll stick the Master Carpenter here. That's fine. So now uh, production should be really fast. What else can we do here? I think that's it for now. We have yet another... Uh, Native converts, so you're going to go down here as well. Uh, you need to turn around, my friend. It's going to be a few turns before everyone gets in position. And yeah, we're going to want to build another wagon train very soon. Okay, so we have our... Uh, okay, so we're producing food and we're producing cotton here. So we will look at producing cloth. Um, could produce some tobacco. Could produce some ore. Probably we'll get this guy as a lumberjack just to start off. And then the next guy that gets down here is going to be put to work in the carpenter shop. So he's like three or four turns away. These guys have more tools than they know what to do with. I know that problem. Okay, so what do we have now? So we can upgrade to a rum distillery here. I think maybe we'll do that. Actually, let's build... What do we need for that? We need cloth. Okay, so let's get the rum distillery. So we need to be able to produce cloth to get... Or we can buy some cloth from the old world, actually, to bring here. Uh, it's going to take a while before that happens, though. Okay, so we'll grab this guy. You are going to work in the carpenter shop. Uh, what are we going to export here? Actually nothing right now I think okay cloth hey eh? let's have a look here uh, we do have cotton production here 
which means we can produce cloth if we wanted to. So let's do that. That's our next thing. So that's going to be a weaver's house. It's going to take us a few turns for that. We do have a master weaver waiting on the dock. Uh, we're going to have to wait, I guess, one more turn for our merchantman because I did buy her. Uh, we're going to want some food production as well down in that other settlement. So we will want... Uh, Actually, I think a carpenter is probably a good investment. So you're going to sail back. You're going to go to Quebec. Okay, and we have another convert here. So you are going to go down here. Okay, so what do we have on the go here now? We have weapon production. Uh, we could upgrade our blacksmith's house. And, uh, yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. First armory. Uh, we're going to pay our taxes. Because he's the tax man. Okay, so what do we have here now? We have our weaver. She has to walk down to the other place. And we have our carpenter. She has to walk down as well. Uh, you're going to go trading... The weaver has to walk to Montreal? No, down here. And we're going to want the other guy down here as well, the uh, carpenter. Okay. So we'll need like one more turn before we finally get that merchant man. Okay, what are you going to do here, my friend? Producing cotton, we're producing wood, and we're producing a lot of food. Well, you can't do too much for us right now, so we will stick you uh, working in the carpenter shop to speed up our... Actually, we're running out of food here now. Okay, so we're going to need you to farm. Why are you producing Liberty Bells? We didn't ask for that. There we go. These guys have more tools than they know what to do with. All right, so uh, we're going to be producing linen here and uh, more cotton. Okay, Let's give me a few more turns to kind of decide what to do there. Uh, let's build the warehouse. I think that's a good choice for now. It's a nice kind of neutral choice on what to build. There's our first weaver's house. Uh, warehouse expansion, they're going to start selling stuff before our work capacity. I like the idea of that. Uh, we do have a free colonist here. Let's have a look at this city, see what's on the go. Um, producing tools, producing weapons. Well, I want to build up a surplus of tools. Uh, grab some more food here, maybe. It's going to be pretty much the extent of what I can do there. Okay, we do have another uh, native here, so he's going to move down here. Okay, and there's our weaver. And there's our carbon. Okay, so we're going to get you to work on cotton. Okay, we're still producing our surplus. And we'll grab our carpenter to go in there. So uh, we're now using less lumber than we can, we're can. we producing. So could start tobacco production here as well. There's no more cotton around, is there? It's fur. So it's going to be a fur trapper. Not enough food, though. Okay. Uh, so you are now a farmer until we can decide something else to do with you. Okay. Um, all right, so we're producing that. We're going to need our wagon train here, and we're going to have to add a route to him. We're going to take tools from Montreal, from Quebec. And we're going to import them into this place. I'm going to add that to our route. And we're going to have all those. Hopefully this works out in some sort of semblance. 
Okay, we're doing good at converting the natives. Not quite sure how to feel about that. Okay, so we now have a warehouse here. Uh, what else can we build? Build a stable. Let's do that. Having some horse production might be good. We built three warehouses. And we will be looking at starting another uh, colony here soon. All right, so that's our cue to buy our merchantman. Yeah, we can't do anything else here, really. So you're going to sail back. And what are we going to want here now? So not producing for yet. Yeah, we're producing a lot of food. We're going to want to produce a wagon train eventually. And I'm hoping that our wagon will make it down there. So we have a blacksmith here now. Not sure where he came from. Uh, so we're going to put you on tool production, I guess. Yeah, that seems fine. Okay, and what are we going to get you to do, my friend? Lumber stagnated. Um, horses? Minus three food. So we're going to need farmers down here, so let's look at expert farmers the next time that we head over to Europe. So yeah, he's actually... We put him in the colony, he eats too much. Unless we do this. Okay, we'll do that for now. But yeah, expert farmers for down here, definitely a must. Okay, so you have nothing on board, I'm going to send you to automate. And we now have our warehouse expansion in Montreal. Uh, sugar, if we can get it. We can't yet, though. So what do we need here now? That's, that's the question. Church? We will need a printing press eventually, I know that. Uh, I'm not sure what I agreed to there, but farewell. I really got to slow down and slow my roll on those enters. Okay, so, 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 so. What do we need here? A dry dock, that'll give us some extra food. And, okay, 20 tools, 20 horses. We need to start producing horses here as well. So we can build that wagon train. Uh, let's build a defensive structure. And we said we needed farmers, right? 800. And let's just grab one of these guys. Sail to Quebec. Okay, uh, we have another converted native, so we'll get him to run down here. And okay, 31 gold's not too bad. It's usually like 10% of what you have. So in a way, it doesn't pay to have any excess gold on hand. Uh, we can train. We have lots of cloth. We have no tools. We have no horses. Uh, let's build a schoolhouse so we can start educating some of our guys. Ooh, that's nice. I just sold a bunch of tools, so... I'm not so sure about that being nice. Uh, Coats. Let's take this missionary. Because we do have quite a few native settlements around, so if we can get some more native production, I'd be happy with that. Uh, for stockade. Okay, we now have a printing press. I uh, really can't do too much there. 
Uh, Do we have any cotton production? No. We are producing tobacco, though, so that means we can make cigars. We need a tobacconist's house. Uh, we do have a fisherman here. Uh, here he'd be useless. There he'd be useless. So you are going to go right here, my friend. Take you off. We'll put you on production. And we want to, I mean, we want to export tools, but we don't want to send them to Europe. So I don't know how to deal with that, actually. Uh, you're going to automate. Oh, you have people on board. Okay, so we have a farmer and we have a criminal. Get the criminal to make guns, I guess. And we have our farmer. We need cloth, so we got to look at cloth the next time. You're going to go ahead and automate, and our farmer's going to have to come down here. Okay, blacksmith shop, sweating tools, thank you for that. Uh, we have a distiller. Cool. Not sure where some of these people are coming from. So we need more sugar if we can get it. Okay, and what else can we do here? Uh, we're building what? It's back in this house. We're just going to leave you there for now. I'll leave you there for now. I'm going to stick him in the uh, cigar production place. Okay, so we have our missionary. We'll unload him. Okay, and we'll stick this guy in automation. Uh, you're going to come down. Here for a mission, I think. And yeah, very soon I think we're going to have to build another colony. Uh, okay, so let's examine this settlement. You are going to work at making cigars. And we're going to want to export cigars from here as well. No cotton production here, right? No. It's one food plus four. Uh, wagon train, no cloth. Upgrade that. Build a lumber mill. Let's do that. We have another expert farmer, so we'll grab him. And I think that's all we really need. Oh, cloth. Cloth. Where are you? Whale fat? Okay. We're going to build another wagon train out of uh, Quebec here, so we can... I'll get some stuff on the go down here. Okay, so what do we have here? We're going to get you on horses. He uses up a lot more food than what we're producing. But we will... We will. We do have a farmer coming down, so that's going to help us a lot. So a couple of turns doing that, it's, uh, it's not a big idea. Not a big idea. It's not a big problem. What's the big idea? It's a big problem. Okay, we want a wagon train. And, okay, is there anything I need here? Maybe another one of these might be a good idea. Allons-y! Establish a mission here. And yeah, we're going to be looking for a new spot to settle here very shortly. So we now have a schoolhouse. 
There's our farmer. I'm gonna get you farming, my friend. Don't want to produce any Liberty Bells as of yet. Lumber production's okay. Food's still not the greatest, huh? I mean, I could get you to go to school. Maybe we can make you a farmer. Not sure this guy is really helping the community that much. Hmm. Okay, let's go for Town Hall for now. Hopefully we will be able to set up some tools. Okay, we do want the cotton down here. And we got another farmer. And, uh, yeah, put you on automate. There's our farmer, so he's going to go down here. We should have a new wagon train very soon. So tax rate again. Farewell. I know, thank you. I know, thank you. I know! Thank you. Okay, uh, I think it's almost time to build another colony if we can. I think there was a spot down here that looked promising, so we'll send this guy down. You have anything on board? Nope. Thankfully, very shortly, we're going to have our wagon train. Uh, so dry dock, we need tools. Printing press. Okay, I want to change one of these, export. I want to make sure we keep like a hundred so we can actually build things. Okay. Try docking tools. We can build our stable now. Alright, and we'll sail back to the new world. So yeah, I would like a, another coastal settlement, uh, settlement, I think. Nine hundred now. We're gonna want a fisherman for the new place that we're building. Come back. Come back. Allons-y. And uh, who are you? You're a lumberjack. Why are we not producing any lumber here? We have a preacher. Lots of lots of fur coming out here. Okay, uh, we're gonna take you. It. You're gonna be a missionary. You are going on lumberjack. Okay. So we have a missionary here. We're going to send him up to this place. Okay, we now have a stable. We have no horses. Hmm, what to build next here? We need a printing press, I think, for our eventual rebellion. And hopefully we won't run out of turns, because I'm not sure what the, uh, what the upper limit is on that. Okay, you are going to go as a farmer. Puts us to minus one. Well, we can take our scout out here now into the, uh, the field. And we should be able to build a wagon train from here now. Okay, so you're a scout, but you're you don't have a horse. Uh, 
Uh, two hardy pioneers. I like the idea of that. So we want him to go over here for settlement improvement. And the same thing with this guy. He's going to go down here to improve the tiles. Okay, and we have our fishermen, which we're going to send down. Uh, I think that's it for now. Could export guns. I'm going to keep 150, I think. All right, so we'll put you on automate. Are uh, you going to run down here? So we're going to be building something down here. Okay, sell all the things. Not enough money to really do anything. Okay, hello to you. Speak with the chief. Expert farmers, and we're going to establish a mission here. And we're going to bring our treasure back. Where's this guy? You are here. Let's run you up to Quebec and see if we can get you to do anything useful. I'll we'll pay the gold. Looks like we have a border coming here. I wouldn't like to settle on the coast though. Sugar. We would have a lot of food. I'm gonna. It, they're gonna warn me about building here. I know what I'm doing though. Trois Rivière. So we're gonna want our landing stage starting off, uh, so we can get some food from the ocean here. Uh, we're producing silver, so we're gonna want to export that. This is silver, yes. And we're producing sugar, so we're going to want to export that as well. Plus one food. Okay, we now have four settlements. Uh, okay, we're going to want to build our dry dock in Quebec. Let's just add 1,200. Okay, so, could grab some criminals, but I don't really see the point. Let's go to trois Riviere, and you're going to go to Quebec. Probably should have did that in the opposite fashion. Uh, you're going to come over here, my friend. Alright, and we now have a lumber mill in Montreal. We can build a city hall now. And a uh, town hall in... Okay, they still don't have any tools for whatever reason. Uh, in the settlements. Plus one food. Build a church, I guess. Okay, he is an expert or miner. Um, want you up here. And we have a colonist plus one food. Uh, we do have a ton of lumber. So we're going to export and we're going to make sure we keep like 150. And we can send our native down to our new settlement, Trois Rivières. Okay, you, you are going to improve here. Okay, and 20 tools, so we are building tools, yes, okay, uh, flute, okay, let's build a defensive structure here, we're going to sail back to the old world, we'll pay our fee, okay, so we're going to want you on food production, all right, uh, 
build our printing press in Quebec. And can we build a wagon train here yet? Soon, but not right now. Uh, lumber mill, stockade. Let's build the stockade for defense. Sell all the things. 1670. We buy here now. Uh, we will want a couple of fishermen to go down to our newest place. I like how they have like a plastic sou'wester, even though I'm not sure plastic was really How's invented it? back then. Okay. We have a new native, so he's going to come down here to join into the fun. Uh, my friend, you are going to improve things around here. You're going to get a couple turns of people just moving around. Wagon train! Thank you. Criminals, not too interested. Uh, you're going to go to Quebec, I guess. Okay, our fisherman is going to go into Trois-Rivières. And let's build their village hall. Alright, so we are going to get you to do not fishing. We're going to get you to produce lumber. We're going to get you to fish. And, uh, yep, yeah, very soon we're going to have someone working in here. All right, so we do have a new wagon train, so we're going to send you down here before we do anything else. Then we'll decide what we're going to do with you. A whaling boat. Train oil manufacturer, wow. Lumber mill, schoolhouse. Schoolhouse might be good. Uh, warehouse expansion might be good. Okay, let's have a look at uh, this place. That I'm not even going to try to bother pronouncing because I'm not sure. Uh, should be importing tools and exporting cloth. Okay. Uh, let's... What to do here? Uh, are we? Do we have any ore production? No. So none of this is interesting. Yeah, I, I don't think we can really build anything else here. Like, there's nothing that we need. So let's build um, – we can't do the town hall. Let's go with military points. Okay. We've built a lot of churches apparently. All right. So we have our fishermen here. It's going to be good for us. And, yeah, export some stuff. Go to Europe. And I keep saying we've built our first church. Okay, so we need to get uh, lumber under production. We do have quite a bit of sugar up here as well, so you may think about that. I know, thank you, I know, thank you, I know, thank you. Sell everything. 1,200 gold. Not too bad. Uh, you go to Quebec. I'm going to keep the merchantman for Quebec and the other one for uh, Trois-Rivières. Okay, so we have our wagon train here. We're going to want to export cloth. We still want to import tools, that's fine. And... Um, Horses as well, maybe. So, trade route. Yield. Cloth. From this place to 
Claude Riviere. Add that. And we're going to go yield cotton from this place to Claude Riviere. I'm going to add that. So we now have to export from Trois Rivière cotton and cloth. And we want to keep some cloth for building ships because I think we're going to need it. Okay. Uh, so, and we want tools into here, right? So, we're going to export tools from here like our extra ones and bring them down here so uh, we're gonna take tools from Montreal and we're gonna import them to this place okay so we need this wait what is this We need to do this. We need to do this. We're importing tool or exporting tools from Montreal to here. Good. That should do it. All right. We're making progress. Sell some stuff. Uh, Two thousand. Maybe another merchantman would be good. Twenty-five. Okay, so maybe next trip. Now you're going to Trois de Rivière, and we've got to pay you a little fee. It's not too bad. Uh, we're going to get you to come down here, my friend. And we can build a blacksmith shop now in Quebec. And let's build a dock here for some extra food production. Okay, sell this. Still not enough to get the merchant in, so head back to Trois Rivière. Okay, so what are we building here now? Some more sugar up there that we can uh, produce. So let's do that. Sugar planter, and we are exporting sugar, right? Yep. Okay. Everything seems to be going well. Could make some rum here too. All right, so that puts us over the top. Uh, we can buy a galleon, actually. Cargo space six. I like it. All right. Uh, you're going to Quebec. Uh, you're going to Trois Rivières. All right, and we have our first galleon. So now we are starting to uh, build up um, over here. Want to do some weapon production here. All that is fine, I believe. So now that we have a galleon, we can actually, uh, any of those treasures we get, we could actually sail them back ourselves. Uh, warehouse expansion, that's fine. Do that for more guns. Maybe a schoolhouse, and we'll start uh, training up the uh, natives. Okay, uh, let's grab a... Master Carpenter here. You know, let's expand our warehouse. I'm going to walk down here, my friend. Okay, uh, we need 100 tools there. Um, and we don't want to export all the tools from here as well, so we want to keep 100. Okay. Okay. 
We'll build a defensive structure. We're going to get you to gun food, I guess, for now. Okay, there's our galleon. We don't have anyone aboard, do we? No. All right, uh, automate the trade. And we'll build a stockade. Start to think about maybe getting ready for our rebellion. We're going to need a lot of soldiers for that. Uh, you go to Trois Rivières. Uh, let's build our town hall. Okay, and send you down here and send you to school. Let's let's look here first. See if there's anything we can do. Third stockade. No, thank you. Uh, so we're producing tools, producing guns. Can produce some more guns. Maybe horses? Well, that puts us behind on the food thing, eh? So we're going to make you a fisherman. Okay, so there is our carpenter. That frees up this guy to do what? Uh, so we got sugar. Uh, we're going to be making some rum. 